Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Shelling. I'm Ashley and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a decorative shell like so. And then we're even gonna go the next step and we're going to add a bottom and then maybe even some decorative shells inside. So let's go ahead and get started and see what it ends up looking like. So first, I'm gonna use this cockle shell. It does not have to be a pretty one. You can actually use the ugliest one you have because we're gonna cover it up completely. And then I'm gonna set my two examples right here in front of me. I did it with an oyster shell. Turned out really nice. And of course the cockle. I like the cockle the best because it's more of a dish. And I have a smaller cockle, so I'm thinking once we do the cockle, we'll put the small one down, glue the larger one on top, and then add some embellishments with some other shells on top, like um, like white ones. Or even use like an oyster shell, like so, and glue it like that, and that would be like a really good, like, very beachy um, look as well. So you can always play around with it, like whatever you think. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the silver just because it takes a little bit longer to dry. So this is called Rub and Buff. It's a wax metallic finish. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me focus the camera in. All right. So all you do is squirt some into your shell. You wanna make sure your shell is clean. Grab a brush and then just start spreading it out. I like to dampen my brush just a little bit with some water before I begin. I feel like it makes this move smoother. It applies easier. Okay, so there's the inside. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the outside of the shell. We're gonna use liquid gold leaf. This is the paintable version. Make sure you shake it off. Okay, this is my favorite part.
So we're just gonna let that dry a little bit. It doesn't take too long to dry, so I'm just gonna let it sit. And in the meantime, I have my hot glue gun heated up, so we're ready to adhere the bottom. And I also have a bucket of shells. So we'll use these to decorate the shell. Um, let's see here. So dry, dry, dry. Put the lid on that. And then let's see. So once this dries a little bit, we're going to gold rim the interior like that. We're gonna use the same gold leaf and the same paintbrush. And you know what, while that's drying, why don't we go ahead and just start on this one and kind of multitask. I'm gonna use the bottom of Oh, you know, that's kind of neat. You could use it like versatile, like that. So maybe we won't glue any seashells on this one. We'll just attach them. Okay, so I'm gonna put some hot glue right here. I'm going to attach the oyster. I'm gonna plop it like that. Okay, I think we're onto something. This is kind of neat. I'm kind of going with the flow here, so we're seeing what happens. That's kind of cool, okay. I like this, this works. So this oyster has a little hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, and then this one obviously doesn't, but it's got like kind of like a pit in there. So maybe we can decorate it just a little bit. Um, I'm thinking maybe like take a limpet and a pearl and doing it that way and then embellish it with like another like white shell or two that are also around the same size. Okay, so I have a moon snail that we can use. Here we go, it's like a little mini white conch. What else do I have? My little box of tricks here. Um, we have a surf, it's kind of whitish. And here's another conch we could use. And then let's see, we have pearls over here. in my pearl box. I'll use these white ones. So I'll grab two of those. And we need limpets. So let me grab those. All right, so let's see. Here's one with the white interior or inside. Same with that one, okay. This music you guys are listening to is really odd. I played Dolly Parton on because I love her, but that particular station isn't very good. All right, all right. So let's see, I got my hot glue going, and I guess we could just start. Okay, so here's the hole, and I'm gonna glue the back of the limpet. Of the hole. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pearl in. Plop it in. Wherever it lands, it lands. It's like my favorite part. Um, okay, and so now I don't want to put too much on this side because it's already got a lot going on. So less is better or smaller. It's almost like we need just something like a tiny bit smaller. Let's see. Okay, 
No. Okay, so I'm gonna put this white shell like on one of the sides of the limpet. And I don't know why I keep feeling, I feel like this side. And then I need like a small shiny white auger or a small ball. So let's see what we have here. That should work, right? Okay. So let's see, where could we place it at? Oh, that's cool. It's like a little squiggly wiggly bottom there. But I feel like it would get in the way if you put anything in the dish. It looks best there. We're just gonna do it. And you know what? It is what it is. And you can even put something there. A site's so addicting, you can just keep going. Just put the moon snail there. Might be too much, but I feel I kind of like want to cover that up a little bit. Um, I do think I do have a tiny moon snail. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I actually found this Murex and I can just use that without, that way I don't have to get up. And I found, oh, I found that, but it's too dark. All right, so put some glue on that. Just kind of plop it on in. Oh my gosh, it has barnacles on it too. I did not even notice that. That's really cute. Okay, so that's that. And we're gonna leave this side blank. So maybe like whoever gets this can have an option of like a decorative top and or they want it plain and put bigger stuff in, they can have this side. So that side is done. So we're gonna go back to this shell we started on. So this side is all gold. This side has all silver. We're gonna take our gold foil, shake, give it a little shake, and we're gonna rim the inside of the um, cockle. So this is also pretty fun. I love the um, the gold foil paint. It's so shiny that when you put it on, it's very like rewarding. And then usually um, I do just one coat, but if you feel like it needs another when you're done, you know, obviously you can do so. I do usually do the like little touch up spots when it's all dry. This is so easy to do that it's not a big ordeal to drag out again. Okay. And basically you just like dab it. So you could use a round brush too. Um, I personally feel like having a straight edge paintbrush or makeup brush is easier. You can get a cleaner line. You can just control the gold foil better. And, but you can still get into all these little cracks and crevices. I'm gonna try to hold it up so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So 
So after I put this gold foil on, we just have one more step and then that'll be it. And it's another easy step. Okay, I think that's enough gold foil. Okay, so let's put the lid on so we don't waste, okay? Now, my little hack is just clear nail polish. It can be any brand, just whatever you have at the house. And this is like my little cheat. I like to put this on shells that I want to make shiny, um, but not only when I'm doing like a couple shells, not if I'm doing a whole bunch of shells, but especially when I'm doing like art projects, this is really nice because I can control where it's going. Now with this, you do not want to mix the clear nail polish with the gold foil. You don't agree with each other, even if the gold foil is dry. Um, not much will happen. It'll just smear. So the good part is, so on a cockle, it's rigid. So the gold foil tends to run down the ridges. So with this clear nail polish, you can run around the edges like that and it'll straighten the gold foil out. It can manipulate it. if you want that. And now this also tends to move the silver around because it's like a wax. Um, if you let it dry a little bit longer than I did, you won't have so much movement. So this basically, you can absolutely skip this step. I like doing it though because I want my shells shell to be shiny especially because it's going to be used as a like a jewelry dish i want it to be glamorous and it gives it that finished look too okay i'm going to get in the little hole a little bit where it's harder and there you go Voila, and that is it. So I told you how to do the silver, the gold, gold rim, make it shiny. And then we went to the next step. We glue two pieces together, left one blank and embellish the other one with more shells. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your, your day and the rest of your quarantine and you stay busy. Thank you so much from Florida Shelling. Bye.